guys welcome again to my channel today we're going to study about the venn diagram what is a venn diagram a venn diagram shows the relationship between a group of different things it's a set or it uh, uses overlapping circles kung minsan nakikita natin ang diagram may mga pahaba ito naman ang venn diagram ito ay gumagamit ng circles. Uses overlapping circles to show how things are alike and different. Okay. Sabi nga niya, it's, uh, it shows the relationship between a group of different things or a set in a visual way. Uh, this is uh, our way also to, so to sort data in, in two or three circles. With, which overlaps in the middle and a set is a collection of things so nakikita nyo dito meron tayong meron tayong set 1 and a set 2 for example meron tayong set ng jewelries so ang set ng jewelries natin example meron tayong um set of jewelries dito ay sa set 1 meron tayong earrings um necklace and a ito yung set 1 natin earrings necklace and uh, uh, ring Okay, set 2. Pwede meron tayong watch. Meron tayong anklet. Um, like that. So let's try to, to solve some example here. We have to find the intersection of the sets. So we have here set A composed of elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the set B composed of element 1, 2, 4, and 6. So, paano natin makukuha yung intersection of the sets? Ang sabi, sa intersection, kung ano yung parehas na elements on both sets, yun yung intersection niya. So, what are the elements that are common to both sets? So, we have here the 1, 2, and 4. So, therefore, the intersection of A and B is equal to the elements of 1, 2, and 4. So, for our next example, we have the set C with the elements of 3, 2, 8, 9, and 12. Well, the set D is equal to 12, 11, 14, and 18. Now again, we're just going to find and look for the common elements on both sets. Ano-ano yung mga elements na nakikita natin na magkakapareho? We have here 12. We have here 12. So only 12 is the common element on both sets. So we only have 12 in the in the intersection. 
As we, sa sabi nga natin, whatever is the value that is common to both sets is the value in the intersection. Okay, let's proceed for our next example. So let's try another one. We have the set E composed of elements 20, 12, 10, and 30. While the set F is equal to 10, 40, 50, and 20. Now again, we're just going to look the common elements. We have the 20 and 10. So that's it. Yun lang ang elements na magkapareha sa mga sets. So our the intersection of E and F is the element are the elements 20 and 10. let's try this one this we have the set G composed of elements 1000 45 18 and 15 and the set H composed of the elements 2000 17 16 and 13 so may nakikita ba kayong magkaparehas na elements on both sets I think no, right? So, as we can see, walang elements na magkaparehas sa mga sets. So, anong gagawin natin pag ganito? Pag wala tayong, uh, pag walang common na elements sa mga sets. So, the intersection of G and A is just equals to or nil. So, pag i-represent natin sa Venn diagram, yung sa intersection natin, wala tayong ilalagay. Kasi, wala naman value or walang common na elements sa sets. So, our answer would just be like that. The union of set X with an elements of A, B, C, D, and E and the set Y with an elements of A, B, C, D. So, let's find the union uh, of X and Y. Sabi natin kanina na ang union of the sets ay nire-represent niya yung dalawang, yung grupo, yung dalawang set, or kahit tatlong set, pwede maging tatlong set. Let's compare the elements of both set. Kung sa intersection kanina, ang tinitingnan lang natin ay kung ano yung common on both sets. Ito naman, titingnan pa rin natin kung ano yung common Pero, lahat ay ilalagay natin sa diagram. Kasi, ang union na sinasabi ay pinagsama, isasama. Pagsamasamahin lahat ng elements, pero kung may nauulit, huwag natin isama. Isa lang yung bilang niya. So, therefore, the, the value ay the union of X and Y is equal to A, B, C, D, N, E. For our next example, we have the set M with an elements of 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the set N with an elements of 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, how can we find again the union of M and N? Okay. Again, therefore... M union N is the set of elements which in set M or in set N or in both. Thus, M 
union n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Again, for our next example, we have the set O with an element of 15, 30, 10, and 20. And the set B composed of elements 12, 10, 20, 11, and 9. Therefore, the, the union of O and P are the elements. We're just going to find again which are the common elements. So we have here the 10 and the 20 only. So O union of union P are elements 15, 30, 10, 20, 12, 11, and 9. So the repeated elements are just write it once also okay so what about this example we have here the set q with the elements of x y z and w while the set r we have a nil value of element. So how are, how are we going to find the set, the union of set Q and R? Again, sabi natin, ito ay pinagsamang el, mga elements ng grupo. So, ang set Q natin has val elements. So, definitely, since we are just finding the union, so, the, therefore, the union of Q and R are the elements X, Y, and Z. So, now let's try to solve some examples of union and intersection of sets using Venn diagram. By this time, we're just going to draw. We're going to draw the Venn diagram to find a union or an intersection of the sets okay our first example if a is equal to the elements of one four six and set b is equal to the elements of two four six and nine find union of a and b using venn diagram so according to the given question we know a set A is 1, 4, 6, and B is 2, 4, 6, and 9. Now, let's draw the Venn diagram to find A union of B. So therefore, from the Venn diagram, we get A union of B is equal to 1, 4, 6, or 1, 2, 4, 6, and 9. Therefore, from the Venn diagram, we get A union of B is equal to 1, 2, 4, 6, and 9. Yung nasa intersection nila, pansinin natin yung 4 and 6. Kasi yun yung common sa both, sa both sets. So that's all again for today. I hope you learned something. And please do subscribe in my channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more.